Are you currently a freelancer and maybe you are selling goods or offering services? Tapos, ikaw ba ay naka-encounter na ng mga clients or customers na nakikipag-negotiate or nakikipag-bargain sa iyong professional fee or pricing? Okay lang ba yon o hindi? Stay tuned because I'm gonna be talking about that next. Welcome back, mga ka-VJ. Okay, and I would like to give a shout-out to all of my loyal subscribers. Salamat sa inyong uh, walang sawang pagsuporta at panonood ng mga vlogs ko. Although, hindi siya nagiging masyadong regular dahil ang busy-busy ko, di ba? Wow! Okay, and to those of you who are just uh, passing through, it's your first time uh, here in one of my vlogs. I hope that you try to finish watching this video and should you like it, to please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. So, gusto ko kayong bigyan ng premise kung bakit ito no, ang aking napiling topic for this vlog. No? Kasi I have this friend from uh, Facebook. <laughs> friend ko siya talaga. <laughs> so, may friend ako sa Facebook na ano siya, uh, nagagawa siya ng, ng cakes and pastries. Okay, and then I saw in one of her, well, several uh, posts on Facebook na she was practically bitching no, about uh, yung ganong konsepto nga na merong nag, uh, nag-negotiate or nag-bargain or, or quite simplistically nang nagtumatawad dun sa kanyang preso, dun sa kanyang mga cakes and pastries. So, parang yung line of uh, reasoning or argument nitong friend ko na to, sabi niya, parang hindi daw dapat tinatawaran no, ang kanyang preso because that is um, uh, something on the lines of parang kanyang artistry, yung kanyang bago at hirap, okay? at hindi daw nalalagyan ng monetary value yon And if he or she daw ay friend nitong tao na to, Okay, dapat daw, nalirespeto daw niya yun. No? And all the more na dapat hindi daw siya humingi ng discount. No? Because, yun nga, dahil nga magkibigan sila. So, it got me thinking na meron bang point itong friend ko na baker okay, ng cakes and pastries na mag-angst ng ganon no? sa social media and to actually put it out there. No? And, and I was wondering, uh, dahil ako nga, ay a free, I'm a freelance training consultant. So, I, it got me thinking are most training consultants or sorry most uh, freelance artists or professionals going through that kind of experience yung uh, binabargain and negotiate tinatawanan yung presyo nila okay? and i also got into thinking ito bang friend ko na to sa facebook meron bang point no or valid ba yung kanyang um tinukoda <laughs> or yung inaangst niya na yon okay? or was she just being uh, melodramatic okay, or overreacting. Okay? So, pag-usapan natin itong bagay na to about clients or customers negotiating or asking for a lower price or a discount from you as the freelance provider. So, first things first, bakit ba ang mga customers ay tumatawad or why do customers ask for a discount? No? I can think of uh, three. Okay? Meron akong tatlong reasons that I would like to discuss here and then later on in the latter part of this vlog. Uh, sasagutin natin yung tatlong reasons na yun from the point of view or perspective naman natin ng na mga providers ng service or ng uh, goods or products. Okay? First reason, ito yung pinaka-simple, pinaka-basic. Ano to? Budget! Yan. So, when we say budgetary limitations or budget issue, okay, it can range from wala siya talagang budget. Oh, <laughs> Lukot. <no>. Hapas lupa. <laughs> so, wala siyang budget to uh, meron siyang limited budget lamang. Okay? So, let's talk first about yung wala siyang budget. No? This doesn't mean na this person is sumusuntok sa buwan no? or, or uh, wanting things beyond his or her means. Hindi naman ganun yung case. Although, meron ganun, ano? Okay, pero ako kasi, uh, as a professional training consultant, I have dealt with uh, companies na hindi nila na budgetan prior ang uh, training na kailangan nila sa akin. Halimbawa, third quarter na of the year, nung nangailangan sila ng ganong training. So, obviously, 
when they made their budget last year, okay, or early this year, hindi nila na foresee na kailangan nila ng ganitong Ayun. cost. Halimbawa, uh, biglaan na kailangan nila yun, they weren't able to allocate certain uh, uh, savings or money for that particular expense. Na ito na nga, yung in-offer mong goods or services. Ngayon dun tayo sa maliit okay, or limited ang kanyang budget. It is uh, a reality no, that people will actually uh, set budgets that are not necessarily exorbitant or grand. Okay? Unless mga heart evangelista kayo mga ganong levels. Wow. No? Pero what I'm saying is, most of us, when we make a budget, okay, karamihan sa atin realistic tayo mag ng budget natin. No? So we, we don't really necessarily shoot for the moon and the stars. Okay, doon tayo sa yung talagang naaabot natin realistically. Okay? So, may mga ganun na tao na maaaring mababa ang kanilang budget. And come on guys, ladies and gentlemen, at some point in your lives, you have become a customer. Okay? And well, unless mahilig kang mamili lamang sa Rustan Supermarket, marunong kang tumawad. Diba? Kasi ako, lumaki ako sa... Ano eh, sa Central Market, Morayta, mga ganyan level, sa Dapitan. Okay, so, sanay ako na nakikipagtawaran portion. No? So, kanina sasabihin, o, oh, yung isang tumpok ng kamatis, 20 pesos. Tatawad ako dyan, 10 to 15 pesos no, at best. So, it's an innate customer desire, if not a right, no? to actually uh, want to have or desire to land the best deal or in this case, the best price. So, yun yung reason kaya ang iyong customer ay humihingi ng discount sa'yo dahil may kinalaman yun sa budget at sa kagustuhan niya na makakuha siya ng better if not the best price for his uh, budget. O second reason, ito yung this customer or client has already encountered or experienced a certain provider okay, or, or a seller of a good na hindi ikaw okay, in the past. No? And... Um, the price points that she was exposed to or accustomed to, eh, ito nga price point, points na ibinigay sa kanya nung unang supplier or provider niya. So, so meron siyang ganun na thinking. Or siguro, idagdag ko na rin, maaaring, sige, it could be that your customer is approaching you for the first time, pero he did due diligence. What do I mean by that? Na nag-research siya, no? Tumingin niyan sa, sa internet, nagtanong-tanong, nag-consult sa iba. And, and ladies and gentlemen, you have to be realistic. Kayong mga uh, freelance, kayong mga providers, no? Ang mga kliyente, hindi lang ikaw yung may nakausap niyan. So, the client is quite possibly uh, speaking with three, four, or five, or hell, even ten other providers. Kasi nga, going back to my first reason for yung pag, uh, pagtatawar ng portion, kasi may budget. Okay? So, gusto nilang makakuha ng best uh, deal, bang for their buck. Okay? So, nag-research siya, nagtitingin niya ng mga preso. So, alam niya kung ano yung price range. Third reason kung bakit nagbinihingi ng discount yung mga tao, I think ito yung isa sa mga most common okay, uh, na practices. <laughs> Mostly ng mga Pilipino, I noticed. Okay? And I think ito din yung um, inaangst nitong friend ko that I mentioned who posted on her Facebook uh, wall. Okay? Ito yung nanghihingi ng discount because you guys had history or uh, when I say history, you had a good working relationship in the past. Not necessarily working, maaaring kayo ay relatives, maaaring kayo yung magkaibigan, maaaring siya ay ni-refer ng friend, ng best friend, ng jowa, ng aso, ng kabayo mo. <laughs> Ganyan. Okay, so, merong certain level of uh, connection, okay? certain level of rapport, certain level of trust, certain level of uh, comfort and confidence, and certain level of uh, pagkakapalagayan ng loob. So, yun yung pinaghuhugutan ng kaya mas malakas ang loob ng mga kamag-anak at ng mga kaibigan na tumawad sa'yo. So, bilang ikaw yung service or product provider, how do you deal with those? Let's start with number one. Yung wala siyang budget or maaaring mababa okay, ang kanyang uh, budget allocation for what you're offering. Okay? So, the first thing that you need to do is you need to be able to monetize no, what you're selling. Uh, uh, monetize or put a uh, price okay, on what you're selling or offering. Okay? So, i-divide mo siya into... Uh, those that are tangible and intangible. So, yung mga tangibles, ito yung mga, uh, it could be your raw materials, di ba? Kasi nagmimisin plus ka, okay, pa sa pagluluto. So, ito yung gagastusin mong um, electricity, uh, the internet, 
this will be the the pamasahe na ibabayad mo or kung nagda-drive ka the the, the fuel na napakamahal diba so yung mga ganun no? ipa-factor in mo lahat ng mga uh, costs okay, na tangible okay, now let's go to the intangibles itong mga intangibles ito yung not necessarily readily seen okay? pero ito yung mga halimbawa you're a, you're a baker okay? hindi ka natutong mag-bake ng cake sa YouTube nag-aaral ka sa Center for Culinary Arts or, or, or Maya's Kitchen ganyan. Yeah, ganyan, no? so ito yung, yung credentials kumbaga or in my case so halimbawa ako uh, sa training so meron ba akong master sa ganito may certification ba ako sa ganitong programa okay? or meron ba akong lisensya sa ganito etc etc So, yung mga ganong bagay, ipa-factor in mo rin yun. And ano pa ang intangibles? Ito ang iyong uh, man hours. Okay? So, kumbaga, ilang oras ang iyong i-a-allot no? for, for yun. Yung sa pagkain, yung for missing glass, yung pagluluto, yung pag-decorate ng cake, or in my case, yung pag-conceptualize ng programa, yung pakikipag-meeting sa kliyente, yung pag-design ng, ng training, yung paggagawa ng mga slides, pag-rehearse ng etc. etc. Okay. So, kailangan mong um, lagyan siya ng monetary value. So, there has to be a pecuniary value. Wow! <laughs> Huwag lang yung big word. So, dapat lagyan mo siya ng, ano, ng value. Okay. And you would know. Okay. So, kumbaga parang in-invest mo kasi yun eh. Okay. So, lagyan mo siya ng amount, so to speak. No? Ikaw yung nakakaalam kung magkano ang iyong talent, ang iyong creativity, ang iyong skill, okay? at ang iyong credentials. per se. Okay? And after you have added both the tangibles and the intangibles, alam mo ngayon kung ano ang dapat na asking price mo. Okay? And, and when we say asking price, syempre maglalagay ka ng wiggle room dun na kasi maaari nga magkaroon ng tawaran portion. So, dapat alam mo kung anong iyong break-even uh, point. Or, so, alam mo yung break-even point mo. Tapos, ito ang iyong asking price. So, there's wiggle room from here to here. O so, dahil alam mo na yung presyo mo, and then alam mo na yung presyo niya, you, you should be able to make adjustments. Okay? So, halimbawa, uh, 100,000 ang iyong uh, asking price. Tapos, let's say, ang iyong break-even point ay uh, 60,000 pesos. Okay? So, kung may wiggle room ka na 40,000 pesos. Tapos, itong si client is asking for a discount. No? Tumatawad siya na 60,000 pesos. So ako I will I will not recommend na ibigay mo yun sa kanya yung ay ako sige para na lang may business para na lang may pera. Okay, that's not really uh, advisable kasi it cheapens your uh, your service or your product. Okay, so yun. So kailangan makapag-negotiate ka din. You also have the power to negotiate. So pwede din ba nga pagka nagpupunta kayo sa palengke sa sabi nila, "Nako ma'am, tapat na po." O do yun. Bigyan mo sa kanya kung ano yung tapat na po presyo mo. So, in this case, maaaring, siguro ilagay natin siya at a 20% discount. That should be your uh, biggest discount that you can give to a customer. So, kung 100,000, baka pwede kang magbaba ng hanggang 80,000 or siguro kung talagang you're feeling quite generous or magnanimous. Mga 75,000 but definitely not 60,000 kasi iyon yung break-even point mo. Tapos, sayang ang iyong inilagay na, na effort. O, dun tayo sa second. Medyo tricky ito kasi... you cannot completely say that it's um, exactly an apple-to-apple -apple comparison. Kasi like, for example, in my case, so ako na lang, no? Kasi, so training. So, if if I'm being compared with 10 other trainers, mahirap sabihin yun na exact kami. Okay? Nang kakayanan, ng background, credentials, ng galing, ng presentation or facilitation skills. Okay? Nang, uh, yun nga, nung, nung galing mo na ma mag-connect, etc. No? Or to achieve the goals for that matter. Okay? There is no way that you will know that. No? But at least you know your worth. O ako, in my case, alam ko yung worth ko. So, going back to yung number one, nalagyan ko yun ng price point na ganito yung ginastos kong... Um, man hour, ganito yung aking credentials, ito yung aking number of years of experience, exposure, um, certification, licenses, etc. So, alam mo ang iyong laban, no? Alam mo ang iyong uh, value na ipapang bargain. Okay? So, kapag uh, tinawanan ka niya ng way below, na yun nga, going back to number one, way below your um, acceptable, acceptable price, um, there's no, ano, 
there's no shame in actually turning down the the offer or the deal because chances are may makukuha ka pa na iba that will actually value you for actually what your your worth is okay, so yon so hindi siya direct apples to apples hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na eh pareho naman kami yung nag-aral sa UP okay walang ganoon eh and even if you guys went to the same school had the same number of years of experience yung personality yung kakayanan yung creativity the flair etc hindi yun quantifiable Okay, so at the end of the day, ikaw pa rin ang makakaalam kung ano yung edge mo doon sa ayun, sa mga kalaban mo. And, and going back doon sa alam ng customer yung price points, dapat ikaw alam mo din ang going rate. No? So kung nag, in my example, na 100,000 yung nilagay mo, tapos 60,000 ang break even, tapos alam mo na na ang industry, dahil kunwari sa pandemic, nagsisingilan lamang siya ng... 30 to 50,000, baka hindi realistic yung 60,000 na ginawa mo. So, you need to also make adjustments depending on the range okay, of the pricing ng iyong product or service in order for you to become more competitive in the market. And now, the third, naku, 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 touchy-feely topic ito. Kasi nga, tayong mga Pilipino, no? particularly, we're very ano, familial, very marites, very body-body, very tropa-tropa. Um... That's that's the thing, no? Kasi nga, d- dyan nagsimula yung friendly rate, friendly discount. Um, hindi ko alam kung paano ko siya i-handle. Kasi nga, kasi ako, for those of you who know me, I'm also very friendly. I am the type of person na talagang values relationships. So, ako, tinitake into consideration ko yun na as a matter of fact, I had a client na binigay ko sa kanyang rate one day lang no for for a two day program. Nalugi ba ako doon? Um, financially or in terms of profit medyo oo. Okay, pero yun nga yung in terms of uh, nakakuha ko ng additional client dahil doon sa kliyente na yun na binigyan ko ng very friendly rate. Ano yung feeling ko? Bawi ko naman so, yun. Going no? back to you ng mga freelancers or providers of goods and services. Siguro dito for the for the third uh, reason it's entirely up to you, no? Kung ik- ikaw, ito sa sa'yo yun kung gusto mo magbigay ng discount, katulad nga ng example na binigay ko dun sa isa kong client na good friend ko din na nagbe-build din ako ng relationship and, and nakakuha naman ako ng something in return that came out of it. It's entirely up to you, no? So, h- hindi mo yun din kawalan. There's no shame in also declining kung talagang parang feeling mo. Napakagarapal naman ito kung makahingi parang parang wala nang bukas makahingi ng discount. Okay? So you decide. Sabi ko nga, going back to point number one, you know the monetary value of yung produkto or yung servisyo na offer mo. And you know your worth, your your creativity, your effort, your credentials, your skills. Okay? Ikaw yung nakakaalam nun. So kapag alam mo that you're being shortchanged, then you should agree to disagree and walk, walk uh, your separate ways without you feeling guilty. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are the three reasons why your customers actually ask for a discount on your products and services and my three recommendations also on how you can deal with these kinds of customers na mga budgetarians. I hope you learned a thing or two, okay? And uh, for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button and the notification bell now. So from here in Orion Bataan, I hope that you are all safe, healthy, fully vaccinated, happy, loved, and not being shortchanged. I will see you guys in my next vlog. This is VJ Bentong! If you like this video, please click like share it on your social media and if you haven't yet click subscribe and that bell